Chinese pod. My name is Dilu, and this is an elementary lesson. Hey guys, I'm John. We have an exciting lesson for you today. The topic is pens and books. <laughs> pens and and notebooks, right? Uh, right. Pens and notebooks. So, um, let let's talk about the keywords first in Chinese. I bet one of them is for pen, isn't it? So smart, John. All right. How do we say that? B, B. Okay. Third tone. That's right. That's pen. B. Okay, and then the word for notebook. We have two syllables here, 本子，本子 So that's another third tone, but then a neutral tone following it, right? That's right, 笔 and 本子 Okay, I think we're ready to jump into the dialogue three times. Here we go. <laughs> 对话第一遍 你好，你要买什么？我要买笔和本子。几支笔？一支笔。几个本子？三个本子。第二遍。你好，你要买什么？我要买笔和本子。几支笔？一支笔。几个本子？三个本子。第三遍。你好，你要买什么？我要买笔和本子。几支笔？一支笔。几个本子？三个本子。Here's the translation. 你好。你要买什么 ？Hello, what do you want to buy? 你好，你要买什么 ？Hello, what do you want to buy? 你好，你要买什么？我要买笔和本子。I want to buy pens and notebooks. 我要买笔和本子。I want to buy a pen and a notebook. 我要买笔和本子，几支笔。How many pens? 几支笔 How many pens? 几支笔一支笔 One pen. 一支笔 One pen. 一支笔几个本子 How many notebooks? 几个本子 How many notebooks? 几个本子三个本子 Three notebooks. 三个本子 Three notebooks, 三个本子 So exciting! Yeah, the exciting conclusion tells us how many notebooks and how many pens. All right, so this lesson we're we're focusing on measure words, right, for some very common items like pens and notebooks.、Mm, let's start from the top. All right, so what do we hear? What is the greeting from the person in the、uh, stationery shop? 你好，你要买什么？你好，你要买什么？ So hello, you want to buy what?、Mm, pretty straightforward. Now I want to ask though: Is this polite to ask like this? Because in English, if we just said, "What do you want to buy?" it sounds rude. Um. Well, in Chinese, this is pretty normal. Um. I guess it, it could be rude if they had a rude tone of voice, huh? Ni yao mai shema. Right. Well, I guess there are possibilities like that. However, it's pretty normally used. This sentence, I mean. Okay, so if someone just asks you, 你要买什么 They're not being rude; they're just being normal. Right. 你好，你要买什么 Okay, and then the reply is, 我要买笔和本子我要买笔和本子 So I want to buy pens and notebooks. Now this translation is a little bit、um, tricky because in Chinese, when you just say 笔 we don't know whether it's one or many, right?、Mm, right. And same goes for 本子 So it can be one pen and one notebook, or pens and notebooks. And、uh, is there one that's more likely than the other?、Mm, nope. You just have in your heads like this totally unfixed number. Right. That that's why we have questions later. Right. Okay. So remember the key words are. 笔，笔 third tone and 本子，本子 third tone and neutral. 对 And you notice the word for and here when you have two nouns. 
It's he, he, second tone. Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Chinese Pod Trivia. Our first question is: How long will it take you to become an intermediate Chinese speaker using the Chinese Pod app? Is it A. The rest of your life? B. You should already be an intermediate speaker. C. Three months. Or D. Chinese Pod has an app. Uh, you should already be in. Ooh, that is incorrect. The correct answer is C. Three months. That's right. Head over to ChinesePod.com now to register for your access to over 4,000 lessons. Get the Chinese Pod app now on Google Play or the App Store. Okay, now the word for and is not universally he, but when you're talking about two things, this and that, you use. Well, here we have he, bi he, ben zi. Okay, he second tone. Now, of course, we don't know how many pens yet, so you have to ask. 对，几支笔，几支笔。So here's where the measure word comes in.、Uh, measure words are used when you ask how many of something there is, when you tell how many of something there is, and in this case, the measure word for pen is 支支 first tone. Okay, so 几、uh, J I third tone means how many? That's right. And so, how do we put it all together to ask how many pens? 几支笔，几支笔。So how many measure word and then pens? 对。Okay, so the measure word for 笔 is 支、uh, ，but for other things it might be different. You mean 本子 ？Right. So what's the measure word for that? Well, here we used 个，个。And the question is 几个本子，几个本子。Okay, so "ge" is kind of an all-purpose general measure word. It's the one you use for people normally.、Mm. And when you don't know what measure word to use, you just use "ge," right? Right. So it's kind of slightly imprecise, kind of lax, but often it's the right one. And if you don't know, people will still understand you. And that's right. So just remember this one popular used measure word. Yeah, this is the one you have to know before you know all the others. It's "ge."、Mm. So how many notebooks again? Is 几个本子，几个本子。How many pens? 几支笔，几支笔。All right, and one pen is 一支笔，一支笔。Okay, so one and then 支 and then the word for pen and three notebooks. 三个本子，三个本子。Okay, that's pretty clear. Let's hear all those phrases in context three more times. Dialogue. 我要买笔和本子，几支笔？一支笔。几个本子？三个本子。第三遍。你好，你要买什么？我要买笔和本子，几支笔？一支笔。几个本子？三个本子。Okay, so today we talked about pens, notebooks, and how to count them. So、uh, let me just give you a few like English phrases, and could you tell me how to say these in Chinese? Hmm. 当然 Okay, so for example, four pens. 四支笔，四支笔 All right, and、uh, one notebook. 一个本子，一个本子 And two pens. 两支笔，两支笔 Five pens. 五支笔。五支笔 ，five notebooks， 五个本子，五个本子。It's getting more difficult. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well done. You passed the test.、Um, <laughs> you, you got those all right. <laughs> Amazing. All right, but if you guys have any questions about how to use these measure words or what to do in a similar situation, you can come to ChinesePod.com and ask us.、Mm, and try to use those two keywords for this podcast. All right, remember to work on your tones. Those are important. That's all for today. 再见，再见。As usual, Chinese Pod provides an extensive selection of learning materials for this lesson on its website, www.chinesepod.com. You can.
can access this lesson directly with the lesson number 2054. So just go to www.chinesepod.com slash 2054 and you will find a transcript, vocabulary, and much more. The link again, www.chinesepod.com slash 2054.